Hello Jackson County Schools, it's Troy Johnson with the Teaching and Learning Department and I'm here with Ms. Gay Chandler at Maysville Elementary School and we're going to be highlighting Monday Mindsets at Maysville Elementary for our Tuesday with Teaching and Learning segment this week. Ms. Chandler, tell us a little bit about what Mindsets are and the Seven Mindsets program. Last year, our MTSS department decided to look at the re different resources that could help us out with our Tier 2 and Tier 3 behavior needs here at Maysville. And after asking some district leaders from our school system along with of neighboring school systems, we kept hearing a common, um, common language, the seven mindsets. So we decided to dive in a little bit deeper and just figure out what the seven mindsets were. Well, I know we're going to get a chance to see this morning in Miss Brewer's classroom, and she's going to be working with her kids with a pretty cool activity uh, from, from the preview in terms of working with some rocks. Can you tell our viewers about what they're going to see with those activities? Well, Miss Brewer is, uh, will be planning on sharing some of the activities that they have been working on the last couple of weeks during, under the mindset of everything is possible and put passion first. And they've been bringing in a lot of literature-based um, studies along with the um, mindsets that, go, that come with the lesson plans, which is pretty cool. And they've been working in grade level standards in literacy, listening, and speaking. But um, as the students were um, going through the lessons, they started picking out things that um, were really surfacing to them about being kind and encouraging to others and having this ripple effect that one piece of kindness can do. Well, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to talk with us about the seven mindsets. Well, mindsets, we love hearing about all the great things that y'all are doing at Maysville, uh, not only academically, but the social, the emotional, to support the whole child. Uh, this is a great opportunity, and we hope to join you and see how your, your river of kindness literally grows throughout the year as y'all continue to make those ripples in the ponds. Thank you. Thank you. I want you guys to think for a second. What is a mindset? What does it mean? A mindset. Ashlyn. Get your brain built up for the week. Okay? For any kind of challenges that you may face, right? Okay? And so what kind of things do we need to put into our mind? What kind of things do we need to build up our mind with, Brandon? Like dreams that we want to do. Like dreams that you want to do? Okay. Hold on just one second. Get ready to learn. But what kinds of thoughts do we need to put in our head? Okay, remember how we kind of talked about the difference in a negative mindset and a positive mindset? Do you remember some of those examples of a negative mindset are, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not tall enough, you don't wear the right clothes. Right? Remember, those are negative things. And although we know those aren't true, those can kind of keep us from doing our best, can't they? What do we mean by positive mindset? Ayla, positive. What are those things that we can put in our head? Think what you want, think what others think about you. So think for yourself. I love it. for our Kindness Rock movement is to start it within our classroom, then share it within our grade level, and we've got a spot picked out in our school garden right through there that we're going to um, create a school um, rock garden for anybody that needs encouraging words, and our vision is to hopefully next year even take it into the community. So just let the kindness ripple.